Hello. What we're going to look at now is a way of identifying a little bit of behavior in the video data. I mean, previously we were just looking at detecting things that are moving and tracking them from frame to frame through the video without really paying much attention to what was actually happening in the videos. And uh, what we're going to start out with is a, what, what we call a little short-term action recognition. So by this, I mean uh, actions that's sort of happening instantaneously. And I'll give an example of uh, waving of a hand, okay? It's something that sort of takes a, a second or a half second to do. It's not a full understanding of what's happening in the video. That would be like the meeting a friend, okay, where you see a friend in a distance and you wave to them and you walk up to them and you hug or something like that. I mean, that would be a whole long sequence of these instantaneous type actions all strung together to make a kind of behavior. Well, we're not going to look at that sort of behavior. We're just going to look at the more the instantaneous kinds of activities. Now there are people who do research on these longer term behavior activities and I've done some of that myself, but that's not what we're going to talk about here today. So we're going to really think about this uh, short term action behavior as a kind of instantaneous sort of thing. We've got a particular video frame and we're going to want to look at a few frames before and a few frames after is maybe you know, 5 or 10 or 20, depending on uh, how, what your frame rate is and what's the scale of the activity. But as you can imagine, like this hand wave, it takes about a second. You record video at 25 frames a second, so you might say, well, I'll take the instantaneous frame plus or minus 10 frames as a way of describing that particular action. The technique that we're going to look at is really just based on an example by the, the authors that I've got listed right here. And it's a, what you might call an appearance-based or a viewpoint-specific type technique. And what that means is that we're going to learn a model of the behavior, but that model pretty much will only depend upon looking at the same objects from exactly the same viewpoint. So if I, did a, if I taught you a model of how to wave the hand this way, and then you saw a person waving their hand like this, the model wouldn't be the right model for recognizing. You would have to learn models for different viewpoints. So we're going to only look at a technique that's only good for sort of single viewpoints and then if you want to use multiple viewpoints, you have to learn multiple instances of them. We're also going to constrain the problem that we're going to look at a little bit. So um, the one of the examples we're going to look at is based on this sort of football video type scene right here. And you can see um, here is a, one of the tracked players and we want to know what's this player doing. Here's an enlargement of that 